In this video I'll go over how I usually kick off a new Laravel breeze with Inertia.js and Vue project. The first thing I'm going to do is navigate to my projects directory. Then I'll create a new Laravel application using the Laravel installer. So I'll do Laravel new and then the name of the project. Once that's done, I'll move inside the project directory and require Laravel breeze using Composer. Composer require Laravel slash breeze dev. To scaffold the application using Vue, we'll run php artisan breeze install and then Vue. Finally, we'll install all the npm packages and run the dev script. Next up, I'll create my SQL database and then open the project in PHP Store. The first thing I'm going to do here is update the NV file with the database connection details. The Laravel installer does a great job naming everything based on the project name, so all I have to do now is update the database password. Let's run the migration to make sure the connection works. And we are done with this step. Moving on, I prefer an indent size of 2 for my HTML, JavaScript and CSS, so let's change that. I'll open the editor config file, and here I will add CSS, JS, view and blade.php. Let's enable the editor config, open a view file, let's say authenticated format. And here we go. Another thing I need to make sure I can do is run the tests using PHP Store. So I'll right click on the tests directory, click run tests, and it will ask me for some configuration. But what I will do is close this, open the preferences panel, go to PHP, and make sure to select the language level and the CLI interpreter. Hit apply and then search for PHP unit and make sure PHP Storm resolves the correct version. Hit OK, rerun the tests and let's wait for them. They are failing. Yeah, that's because we need to rerun npm run dev. Let's rerun the tests. And here they are. Finally, another thing I want to do is disable the webpack notifications. So I'll open the webpack mix file, and here I'll say mix disable notifications. I'll save and then fire up the project using PHP artisan serve. And here it is. That's how I typically kick off my Laravel breeze with Inertia.js and Vue projects.